What's going on guys? Buck here with the 0.49 patch notes for Valorant. If you want to give it a read yourself, the link will be down below. I'm going to kind of skip over some of the things that maybe we don't need to talk about or that might not affect you too much. And I'm going to focus on the important things. Uh, so to start, we have some changes to Omen. Um, before when he would alt, you could shoot him slightly before he completely ulted in and he'd be kind of dark and you couldn't really tell. Well, they made that short period a little more obvious. And now uh, you'll be able to shoot him. I believe he's not going to be so dark and you'll be able to see more clearly when you can start shooting him to kill him before he can shoot you. They also made it so his alt is a little less uh, loud, so you won't be able to hear it as easy, meaning you'll need to be closer to be able to start hearing it. Uh, they have some character updates for the visuals for Omen and Breach. I don't know what those look like, so you'll have to see those during the update. Um, some important map updates. Probably the most important on Haven. Uh, when you go down mid, there's a two breakable double doors. You were able to sage wall behind those doors when you're defending and have a little sliver that you can shoot people coming mid. Well, they put curtains there and now you can't shoot through that anymore. There's some more map updates here if you want to give them a read. Uh, looks like they did some map updates on every map. They also added a competitive mode and ranked matchmaking into the game, meaning it'll be there, but it's not live yet. We'll have to wait for them to actually release ranked and um, competitive mode. They did say that it will be released shortly after this patch. How shortly, I don't know. Could be today, it could be later this week. They also added um, some new updates in observer mode. You can give those a read. Really nice U, uh, UI and HUD updates. Um, read those if you guys want. Nothing too game breaking, so I'm not going to focus too much time on those. One big quality of life update that I want to talk about is the ability to leave a custom game. You can now do that. All you need to do is hit escape and leave the match. You will not get a penalty and you'll be able to leave and start a game with your friends right away. If you close the game completely, it will throw you back into it. However, um, the last big update I want to talk about here is uh, the fact that they added a penalty for AFKing or leaving a game in progress. Uh, this is pretty important because almost every game playing with randoms, I had an AFK in the game. Well, now there's bigger up, uh, bigger penalties for them. So that'll kind of help out with the AFKs. Uh, if we scroll down a little more, we have a lot of bug fixes. Something that you guys, a lot of them you guys probably never even seen, but they did update a lot of bug fixes. You know, you can give those a read if you want. I'm not going to focus too much time on them. Uh, and then more bug fixes for the game client. There's some pretty good ones here. So you guys can give those a read if you want. Uh, that is all for this update that I want to talk about this time. I do updates like this for every time they release patch notes or updates. If you guys want to follow, please give me a follow. Link to my Twitch and Discord down below if you want to join my communities. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.